हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल स्टडी मटेरियल टुडे वी डिस्कस अबाउट द टॉपिक हाउ टू कैलकुलेट द वैल्यू ऑफ एंटी लॉग बाय यूजिंग द एंटी लॉग टेबल हियर इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट वी शुड बी कैप्ट इन माइंड बिफोर यूजिंग द एंटी लॉग टेबल द वैल्यू ऑफ एंटी लॉग फॉर पॉजिटिव वैल्यू इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम दैट ऑफ एंटी लॉग फॉर नेगेटिव वैल्यू नाउ लेट अस फर्स्ट डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ टू कैलकुलेट द वैल्यू ऑफ एंटी लॉग of positive value like log table anti log table is also divided into three columns these are main column difference column and mean difference column as shown in the figure take an example of anti log 2.2022 we should know that we can calculate the anti log of only those digits which are placed after the decimal point so the digits which are before the decimal point can be used as a 10 raised to power before the calculation of anti log from the anti log table we should follow the some sequence of steps as given here first convert the anti log 2.2022 into anti log 0.2022 into 10 raised to power 2 after making equation calculate the value of anti log 0.2022 from the anti log table now put a decimal after the first digit of the calculated value then put the value in the equation 1 so as to get the answer now let us calculate this value by using the anti log table there are four digits after the decimal point in the question the first two digits are taken from the main column as shown in the figure the third digit of the question after the decimal point can be calculated from the difference column where the first and the second condition meet pick out that value as shown the value obtained is 1592 the fourth value of the quotient after the decimal point can be taken from the mean difference column the point where the main column value and the mean difference column value meet pick that value the value obtained is 1 now add this value to the previously obtained value we get 1593 after the calculations of these four digits which are placed after the decimal points in the given question we get the 1593 value now place the decimal point after the first digit we get 1.593 put this value in the first equation in the place of anti log 0.2022 then we get the answer which is 1.593 into 10 raised to power 2 let take one more example anti log 40.8043 as we know that we can calculate the anti log of those terms which are placed after the decimal point so the digit which are before the decimal point we can raise them into 10 raised to power so the first step of this question is to convert the given value in the form anti log 0.8043 into 10 raised to power 40 name this equation 2 now from the anti log table see the value of 0.80 in the front of main column and four down the difference column where these conditions meet pick that value the value obtained is 6368 the fourth value that is 3 after the decimal point can be seen down the mean difference column and in front of the main column where these two conditions meet pick that value the value obtained is 4 add this value to the previously obtained value we get 6372 place the decimal point after the first digit and put this value in the second equation we get the answer which is 6.372 into 10 raised to power 40 now let us discuss how to find the value of anti log of negative term first of all we should know that we cannot find the value of negative anti log to find the value of negative anti log first convert the negative term into the positive term here is an example of anti log of negative term anti log minus 2.7921 first step is split the above value into two parts one is minus 2 and the second one is minus 0.7921 
always keep in mind we should subtract 1 from the first value and add 1 to the second value after the calculation we get minus 3 and 0 0.2079 as shown now the new value becomes until of 0 0.2079 into 10 raised power minus 3 it means after subtraction 1 from the first splitted value and addition 1 to the second splitted value we get two new values the first term is used as 10 raised to power and the second term is used to find the anti-log from the anti-log table so the new term become anti-log 0.2079 into 10 raised to power minus 3 as shown let us calculate the value of anti-log 0.2079 into 10 raised to power minus 3 there are four digits after the decimal point the first two digits are taken from the main column and the third digit is taken from the difference column where these two digits meet pick that value the value obtained is 1611 as shown in the figure the fourth digit is taken from the mean difference column the digit where the mean column value and the mean difference column value meet pick that point in the internet the point is 4 but according to the book the point is 3 now we take 3 as an exact value add this value to the previously obtained value we get 1614 there are some images in the internet where the value of 0 0.20 and the mean difference value 9 meet at point 4 which is wrong the exact value is 3 which is taken from the book so we should add the value of 3 to the previously obtained value so as to get the answer 1614 now place a decimal point after the first digit value it becomes 1.614 now in the given question we first convert the antilog minus 2.7231 into antilog 0.2079 into 10 raised to power minus 3 after this we calculated the value of antilog 0.2079 and the value obtained is 1.614 after put this value in this equation we get the answer which is 1.614 into 10 raised to power minus 3 in this way we can calculate the value of log and antilog by using the log and antilog table now let us discuss some basic formulas which are used to find the value of logarithm the first is log m into n which is equal to log m plus log n the second is log m by n which is equal to log m minus log n and the last value is log m raised to power n which is equal to n log m Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe the channel.